Hello everyone, this is Corina from Atelier Miko and today I'll show you how to create a 3D painting with a pearlescent effect. In the description of this video you will find all materials that you need to create this 3D painting. So first of all you'll need a canvas or a thin wood board. So if you go with a canvas the dimension of it should be 30 cm per 40 cm. Also next you will need the wire mesh which should be double of the size of the canvas and some gloves for protection. Next you will need a staple gun so you can fix the wire mesh on the canvas or on the wood board. And now you can start to model the painting. For this one I chose to create a form that would be something like a shell or something that will be from the sea because the final effect will be a shimmering pearl. So here it's all about the creativity and you can do whatever model you would like. Just make it fun and create something that you really enjoy. As you are creating the model, when you are using the staple gun, you should turn the canvas on the other part and bend the staple so you will not get injured. Because the wire mesh is so flexible, you can go with the model to the left or to the right to create waves or to create any type of model that you would like. As you create a model, make sure that you use enough staples so the wire mesh can be fixed properly on the canvas or on the wood board. And here it's how my model turned out to be. For the next step you will need wood glue and medical gauze. So about the wood glue, if the thickness is too hard you can add some water and mix it really well and after that you can use it. I would highly recommend to use wood glue and not other type of glue, not construction glue. So this part it's really important because now you create the base for the joint compound material. So you need to place the medical gauze with the wood glue on every part of the painting. So for this part it's easier to use a wider brush. So make sure you put enough wood glue so the medical gauze can stick properly. Also, if you want to go to the next step after you do this one, you can do it or you can let it dry. Either way, it's fine. Also, make sure you add some medical gauze on the back of the canvas so you can have a nice finish even on the back of the painting. As you finish with the medical gauze step and the wood glue, you can now go to the material part, to the filling part. And here I am using joint compound to fill the 3D painting. So the proportion is almost one to one. So let's say one cup of joint compound and one cup of water. And now as you place both materials on the bowl you can mix them really well until you get a smooth and even paste. So the material should be kind of thick and should not fall off the putty knife. And because a lot of you ask what the joint compound is actually, I'm gonna explain it shortly. So joint compound it's actually a wall filler and it's usually used in the construction when you get to finish the gypsum walls. 
and the difference between the joint compound and the plaster is that the joint compound has a dry time way bigger and this dry time is somewhere between 19 to 120 minutes depending on the brand. And now that you know what this material actually is, you can learn how to apply it on this 3D painting. So for the first layer you can take your putty knife and spread the material on the painting. So make sure the layers are thin and you spread it regularly on the entire painting. After you place the material with the putty knife you can take a wide brush and spread it even more smoothly. You can also soak the brush into a can of water if you want to spread it easily. And after you spread the material on the entire painting, you will need to let it dry for at least 24 hours before you can start with the next step, which is the sanding part. And now for the next step, after the joint compound has dried, you can start to sand the 3D painting. So for the first layer I'm using a sandpaper with the grid of 100, which means that the sandpaper is more rough. So you will want to do circular moves and linear moves when you are doing the sandpaper. Make sure you go in each area of the 3D painting and get it a bit smoother. And to remove all the dust you will need a hair dryer and a fiber cloth. And next for the second layer of joint compound you are gonna mix again the water with the joint compound and create the mixture. After that you will need a wide brush to spread the joint compound in thin layer all over the 3D painting. After you spread the material everywhere with the wide brush you can come back again with a small brush and finish and smooth the layer. Once you are done with the material you will need to let it dry again at least 24 hours until you can start to sandpaper it. And now for this step you will need a sandpaper with a grid of 220 which means that it will leave your 3D painting smoother, that's why you need this type of grid. And here I am only filming two layers of joint compound and sandpapering. But if you want to get a smooth 3D painting you will need to do at least three layers of joint compound. So it's the same technique always. You apply the joint compound, let it dry and sandpaper it. And you can do this at least three times for a good effect. Also to get it ready for the next step you will need to remove all of the dust. So you will need again a hair dryer and fiber cloth. Also, to hang the 3D painting on the wall, you will need a sawtooth hanger and two screws. So, you will take the drilling machine, place the sawtooth hanger in the middle of the painting and then with pressure you're gonna use the drilling machine. And now the painting is ready to get the base coat painting. For this, I am using white acrylic with a bit of water. If you want, you can use also a gesso, but it's easier to use white acrylic and I think it's really efficient and it leaves a good texture. And for this you will need a small painting brush and you will need to spread it evenly on the surface. 
After you are done painting the entire 3D model, you will need to leave it to dry for at least 2 hours. I actually suggest to leave it somewhere around 4 to 6 hours to dry so you can get it ready for the final coat. So for this I am using acrylic with a pearl shimmering effect and the acrylic is from Amsterdam. So to get this shimmering effect you will need to apply the acrylic in three layers. So you will need to paint the 3D painting and let it dry for four hours and then apply the second coat of shimmering acrylic, let it dry for four hours again and apply again the third and final layer of shimmering paint. And here it's the final result, a pearlescent 3D painting. If you like this tutorial, we would be really grateful if you'd like to give us a comment, a like and also if you know someone who'd enjoy watching this, you can share it with them.